Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW personal points plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three easy but incredibly delicious low point healthy recipes for you. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five days a week. So subscribe and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website where you will find all three of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump in to meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making an apricot overnight oats. I'm really excited for this. It has a lot of spices in it. It's going to be an amazing high fiber breakfast. I'm really excited for it. I'll pair it with some eggs and some fruit, but let me show you what is in the recipe. You're going to need some dried apricots. Make sure you get ones without any added sugar, some rolled oats, vanilla extract, some type of mason jar, bowl with a lid, something to put the overnight oats in and into your refrigerator. And then for spices, you'll need ginger, allspice, and cinnamon. We're going to chop up 10 apricot halves just into little diced pieces to add to the overnight oats. I think I said 10 apricot halves. It's actually nine apricot halves. That's two points. When you add an extra one, it makes it three points. So here's nine apricot halves. So to assemble the dry portion of our oats, we're going to add one half of a cup of rolled oats to our mason jar. And then we're going to add in our chopped up dried apricots, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of allspice, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger. So here are the overnight oats with no liquid. Now you can just store these in your pantry. You can even put the mixture in a Ziploc bag and pop it in your freezer. And the night before you're ready to eat the oats, you're going to add one cup of milk of your choice. I'm just going to use unsweetened almond milk and then stir that up, put it in your refrigerator overnight and you'll have perfect oats in the morning. So we're gonna go ahead and add to this jar a cup of the almond milk so that we can enjoy this for breakfast tomorrow morning. So here are the overnight oats with the liquid added. So I'm just going to put these in my refrigerator. I will go ahead and put the points and calories here on the screen. I'll give you the points without the almond milk and the points with the almond milk. That way if you use a different milk or milk alternative, you can modify your points accordingly. But I'm really excited to have these all week. For lunch this week, I'm making Hawaiian pizza chicken. I'm really excited about this, but I'm bummed out. I thought I had a can of pineapple tidbits in my pantry and I don't. So I'm definitely going to pick up a can and add the pineapple to my meal prep. The recipe calls for half of a cup of pineapple dice. So you could do fresh pineapple, canned pineapple, just make sure you drain the juice. So I am going to pick up some pineapple and I'll just add it in later to my meal prep. But let me show you what else is in the recipe. You're going to need salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, pizza sauce, low fat mozzarella, some sort of vegetable. The recipe calls for steamed broccoli, so I'm actually going to add some of this organic steamed broccoli. You'll need some Canadian bacon and some chicken. We're going to add our chicken to a nonstick sprayed baking dish. We're going to season both sides with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. We're going to put the chicken into a 425 degree oven until it is almost cooked all the way through. It's going to take about 
12 to 18 minutes. While the chicken's in the oven, I have 10 slices of Canadian bacon. I'm just going to chop these just into smaller pieces. I think that it will be a lot easier to eat on the chicken if it's not full pieces of Canadian bacon. I just pulled out the chicken. It is not quite all the way cooked through, but pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the cut up Canadian bacon right over all of the chicken. Then I have three quarters of a cup of pizza sauce and I'm going to put that on top of the chicken and Canadian bacon. And then lastly, we're going to sprinkle one cup of low fat mozzarella cheese right on top. We're going to put this back into the oven for about another 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese is melted and starting to bubble. So here is my Hawaiian pizza chicken. This looks so good. This smells so good. Like I mentioned, I will add some pineapple each day. I'll just divide that half of a cup over the four servings that this recipe makes. Steam up some broccoli and that's going to be my lunches for the week. Look at all the cheesy goodness of this recipe. I will of course go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. And again, on my website, when you click on the link for the recipe, it will recalculate it into your points. But I'm very, very excited for this whole pizza vibe for lunch this next week. For a sweet treat this week, I am making cinnamon roll bread. I'm very excited about this. I love cinnamon, as you guys know, and I love having a nice warm slice of bread as a snack or dessert. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some sweetener. As usual, I am using the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. I will make sure Lakanto is linked down below for you guys with 15% off. It is one of the sweetener alternatives that does not add points, no matter how much you use with the new personal points plan. Not to mention, in my opinion, it has zero aftertaste and is really the closest taste to sugar. So I'll make sure that is linked down below. All purpose flour, light butter, eggs, salt, baking powder, and lots of cinnamon, whole milk, as well as vanilla extract. So the first thing we're going to do is take a small bowl and we're adding one quarter cup of the Lakanto monk fruit. And I'm going to add a big scoop of cinnamon to that, mix that together. And this is that cinnamon sugar that's going to go over our loaf of bread. So to start making our bread, we're adding a quarter cup of Lakanto sweetener, one quarter cup of light butter, and three large eggs. With our handheld mixer, we're going to mix this until creamy. Then we're going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, more cinnamon, a quarter cup of whole milk, one teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and two cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to mix again just until combined. Go ahead and spray your bread pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Then we're going to add half of the loaf mixture to the pan. And then we're going to sprinkle half of that cinnamon sugar mixture right on top. And add the other half of your dough and then sprinkle the rest of your cinnamon sugar mixture right on top. We're going to pop this deliciousness into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the bread is cooked completely through. I just pulled the cinnamon roll bread out of the oven. My house smells like a bakery and I'm pretty excited about it. This looks absolutely amazing. I am going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. We need it to be pretty much cooled and then we're going to frost it. We are going to add a glaze right over the top. So to make the glaze, you're going to need some powdered sugar alternative. This is the Lakanto powder. Again, it's one of my favorites. We're going to add four tablespoons of Lakanto powder to a small bowl. And then I have two tablespoons of the whole milk. I'm going to add just a little bit of the at a time until I get the right glaze consistency. You don't want it too thin, but you also want it thin enough that it will actually drizzle over the bread. And then I'm just going to take it and just drizzle it right over the top. And here is the cinnamon roll bread glaze. This looks and smells incredible. 
It is super, super low point. It would be the perfect addition to a high protein breakfast. You could also have this as a snack and especially an evening dessert. It just looks so delicious. Of course, I will put points and calories here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to enjoy them all week long. Don't forget you'll find these recipes on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts for my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Don't forget to come on over and join us there. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye!